As the Buddha said, there is no happiness other than peace. Nati santi barang sukham. We might argue we can think of different kinds of happiness that are not very peaceful. But what makes something happy is that your mind can stay with it, not get pushed off. And there's so little of that kind of happiness in the world. Even the pleasures that we go after, so many of them push us off right away. And then we try to embroider them to ourselves, say, well, there was actually more there than just the, the brief taste. This is one of the reasons why psychologists say that people have very little notion of what makes them truly happy. There was one psychologist who was amazed at how many times he would ask people what makes them happy. And then he'd arrange to talk to them right while they were engaged in that activity. And they said, well, they weren't all that happy after all. But then afterwards they were talking about how happy they were. He wondered why people were like that, but then he reflected on himself. He's a mountain climber. And he began to realize that while he was climbing mountains, he was pretty miserable. There was the anticipation beforehand and the sense of accomplishment afterwards. That's where the happiness lay. So when you look for happiness in this world, you have to ask yourself, where are you looking? And where is the real pleasure? And is it really happiness? Is it, is it peaceful? This is one of the reasons why we come to the monastery, to find some peace. Not only to enjoy the peace while we're here, but also to do good. Do good. And that thought of doing good, looking for happiness, being virtuous, being generous, meditating. That's a happiness you can take with you. And it doesn't push you off. There are so many pleasures in the world that in order to get them you have to do something unskillful. And then you have to live not only with the memory of the pleasure that's gone afterwards, but also the fact that you've done something unskillful. Whereas the happiness that comes from generosity, virtue, and meditation. It's good in the anticipation, good in the execution, and good afterwards. It gives you a place where you can stay. So look for the good that you do, and appreciate the good that you do, and then take that as your basis for taking something with you. That plus the good qualities you've developed in your mind. Those will provide you with the peace, with the happiness that you need. Because otherwise the happiness of the world is based on what? Gain, loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These things keep pushing you off. You get some material gain and you get pushed off. You get some status, you get pushed off. Praise can turn to criticism very quickly. Pleasures can turn to pains very quickly. And then back. So you go, more for, you go for more. And that kind of pleasure creates disharmony in the world, because when someone gains something material, someone else has to lose it. When someone gains status, someone else has to lose it. You get praise, somebody gets jealous. That's the kind of happiness that creates divisions. And as long as we're pursuing that kind of happiness, there's going to be no peace. The peace comes from a happiness that makes nobody jealous, and doesn't push anybody out, and doesn't push you out. So always keep that thought in mind of the good that you've done in the past, the good you anticipate to do in the future, and the good you're doing right now. If you let your mind settle there, then you can find some peace and you can find some happiness.